Stunned Palestinians found their home city unrecognizable Monday as they filtered in to salvage what they could from the fast destruction left by Israeli troops who withdrew from southern Gaza Yan Kunis a day earlier after months of fighting and bombardment. With thousands of buildings destroyed or damaged, families tried to find their homes along street bulldozed down to the dirt, surrounded by landscapes of rubble and debris that were once blocks of apartments and businesses. On other blocks, buildings still stood but were gutted shells, scorched and full of holes, with partially shattered upper floors dangling off precipitously. Those filtering back into Khan Yunis came on the back of vehicles and trucks, donkey carts, and even on foot to witness the destruction. Israel sent troops into Khan Yunis in December. The ruined streets underscore what has been one of the world's most destructive and lethal military assaults in recent decades, leaving most of the tiny coastal territory unlivable for its 2.3 million people. It also portended what is likely to happen in Gaza's southernmost town of Rafa, where half of Gaza's uprooted population is now crowded if Israel goes ahead with plans to invade it. According to local health authorities, the seven-month war has killed more than 33,000 Palestinians, mostly women and children. Negotiation mediated by Qatar, Egypt, and the U.S. over ceasefire and exchange of captives continue.